The objective within this lesson is to subtract fractions with unlike units using the strategy of creating equivalent fractions. One half minus one third. We'll need to change both units. First, I'll draw one fraction model and partition it into two equal units. Then I'll write one half below one part and shade it. I have one half there. Next, I'll model one-third with horizontal lines. Next, I'll make equivalent units. One half and two more horizontal lines, I have three sixths. And with one third, I have two sixths. So for my new model, I have six. I started with 3 6 and I subtracted out 2 of those 6. Leaves me with 1 6. 1 half minus 1 third is equal to 3 6 minus 2 6, which equals 1 6. For our next problem, I have 1 third minus 1 fourth. We start as before, where we model a third. And we model one fourth. And then we continue by making equivalent fractions. One third is equal to four twelfths. And one fourth. Was equal to three twelfths. So I had four twelfths. I'm taking away three of those twelfths. Leaves me with one twelfth. So my equivalent fractions that I had was 1 third is equal to 4 twelfths, 1 fourth equals 3 twelfths, and then I subtracted those to be able to get 1 twelfth. Okay, it's your turn to try. 1 half minus 1 fifth. Draw your area models to be able to make equivalent fractions and to be able to find the difference. And then we also have one fifth, making the equivalent fractions. Looks like we get some tenths. Wrap one half first. Five equal parts, so we got five tenths. And for one fifth, two parts get two tenths. So I have five tenths minus two tenths. Five of those tenths minus two tenths. So I indicate the minus two tenths by crossing them out. So I have five tenths minus two tenths, which equal three tenths. Look over your work.
Here I have another question, 2 thirds minus 1 fourth. Model 2 thirds first. Or I have 2 out of the 3 that are shaded. And I model 1 fourth using vertical lines. Make equivalent fractions. Copy my two thirds and now go to force of those, which gives us twelfths. And there's eight out of twelve there. For the one fourth and the thirds, so that we get twelfths, so we have three twelfths. So I have 8 twelfths, so I have 8 twelfths, minus 3 twelfths, which will give us 5 twelfths. One half minus two sevenths. There's one half. There's two sevenths. And then we make equivalent fractions. That would be seven fourteenths. And then we had two sevenths. To equal four fourteenths. Take my seven fourteenths. and cross out four of those fourteenths to be able to get three fourteenths as my answer. One, two, and three. Again, that was seven fourteenths minus four fourteenths, which equaled three fourteenths. So one half minus two sevenths is equal to three fourteenths. Your turn with four fifths minus two thirds. Modeling four fifths and two thirds, getting some equivalent fractions. This was four fifths now we're into um, fifteenths. Same four fifths was shaded. People get twelve fifteenths. Had two thirds. Got into ten fifteenths. So I have twelve fifteenths minus ten fifteenths. There's six of them, there's ten of them that are crossed out. So what's left is 2 that were shaded out of the 15. So it was 12 fifteenths minus 10 fifteenths equaling 2 fifteenths as our answer.